my goodness, my goodness. Look at that, it's pouring rain out there. Woohoo! This is a torrential down pour for Southern California. Look at that, very nice, very nice. Quit raining, yay. Woohoo! Uh, but that means it's time to get a haircut. My hair is almost down to my knees. And it starts to become like an afro when it gets down to my knees. So, I gotta go get a haircut. And there's a place that's like seven bucks. And it's really good. So, that's what I'm gonna go do. And I need to get a Christmas gift or two for someone. Let's see if I can do that. I used to go to this place a number of years ago and I quit going because one time I'm in there and they've got a movie playing on the TV and it's a Asian language film. I'm not quite sure what language it was. And these guys, there's a guy raping a woman on the bed and I'm like, are you guys gonna turn that off? Like, what is going on here? And they're like, oh, uh, they would think like, hey, like it's no big deal. Hello? And so I, they had not started cutting my hair yet. I took off the top thingy, whatever they put around you, the, you know, apron thing, and walked out because they were like, oh, it's no big deal. I left quite a review on Yelp because of that. Several years later, I'll tell you the reason why I'm coming back is because they cut good hair and it's $7. It's today's barber. I mean, who doesn't want to go to today's barber? Look, a guy with a Hummer. That could be Schwarzenegger. He gets his hair cut here. I'm telling you, they cut good hair. And I just make sure they don't have any movies on when I go inside, because who does that? The heck? How does it look? It's not down to my knees anymore. And seven bucks plus three dollar tip. Today's barber gives you the look of tomorrow. Yeah, that's pretty good, huh? Maybe I'll write him a little jingle or something. That was the jingle. So Laura's family has chosen for the last couple of years to draw names out of the hat for gifts for Christmas. So, saves a lot of money, but that means I've got one person that I gotta really, you know, get some cool gifts for. And so, the name that I have is her brother, Marcus, AKA Mark. He's a great guy, he's got his great girlfriend, and she's not a part of the drawing, I don't think, by the way, so we're gonna make sure she feels warm, warmly welcome. And uh, we're going to dinner on Christmas Eve at an Italian place, I think, and then exchanging gifts there. So I've already gotten him a number of things, and I've got another thing that I need to get for him, and I have, that guy in the Jeep just gave me the two-finger Jeep thing. Like, people that have Jeeps are supposed to wave. He has a massive rope on the back of his Jeep, He's like a legitimate Jeeper. I've got like a city Jeep that I sometimes take off road. Anyway, so I need to find a gift for him and I'm feeling the pressure because today's Wednesday, Christmas Eve is Saturday, and I don't wanna just get a shirt and socks to kind of round out the gift basket that I'm creating for him. I've got some really fun, kind of cool things, but I wanna get something else and I'm not sure what to get. I'm feeling the stress. I'm gonna tell you, frankly, I'm feeling kind of stressed about it. And there's a lot of traffic. Jeez. All right, this may be dangerous, but I'm gonna go into Best Buy and see if there's anything that catches my eye for Marcus. All kinds of crazy stuff. Was gonna get my parents one of these, Amazon Echo Dot, but they're out of stock on Amazon and they're out of stock at Best Buy. They're out of stock everywhere. Maybe he needs a new TV. Maybe a big Samsung 78 inch. That's what I could get him right there. How much is that thing? It's curved. I don't know why anybody would want a curved TV. I don't want a curved TV. He doesn't want a curved TV. Maybe 78 inches is too big. I don't think I could afford 78 inches. All right, got the item. Now the weight comes in. The long, long wait at Best Buy. Got the gift. 
And if he doesn't like it, I gotta get a receipt so he can take it back, get whatever he wants. But I didn't just get him one item. I got him several items. I'm really happy about that. I think one item's fine, but you know what? When you get people several items, it kinda is like a party. Like every item that you open is a party, party, party. So now, I think I've gotten all my Christmas shopping done. Ah. All right, so the house is empty tonight because Laura is just getting home from a Christmas party and she's taking Emerson, the youth group, and Waverly's out at a yearbook meeting, like get the yearbook done. So I come home and what do I have waiting for me? I have good, I have tons of magazines. Tons that come to the house, tons. You wanna see the magazines that we have? Look at this, I turned in airline miles, cause I don't get that many airline miles, for magazines. And so I have Entertainment, Esquire, Afar, Fortune, Sports Illustrated, Time, El Decor, and the list goes on, that come every single month. Some come every week, like Entertainment Weekly. Get it, weekly? But this magazine only comes every once in a while. I think my mom might've gotten it for me for Christmas. Thank you. It's so awesome. Good magazine. Now they're saying, oh God, I think that's because of Trump. Don't panic. Here's how we survive and thrive the next four years. People are freaking out, obviously. But Good Magazine is amazing. Wow, it's so good. Good Magazine is the best magazine, I believe, in the entire world. They've got beautiful photography, as I look at like this dead fish, Unseen Heroes of the Sea. Uh, but it talks about good stuff, like good stuff in our world. It's a little social justice-y, which I love. And it's just got awesome articles and beautiful graphics. And their website is great because it's all about doing good in the world, which I'm trying to do more of. So. Good Magazine, subscribe. The URL, good.is, I think that's what it is. So what I did there, see what I did there? Good.is, I think. Goodinc.com is their corporate deal, so that's what it is. Anyway, all right, so my wife has not come home yet with all the Christmas goodies, but I'm gonna tell you, we've been getting Christmas goodies from her work, kids. She's a teacher, so she gets lots of, all right, chocolate, truffle, cookies, black forest cakes. That is not look good. That looks like a lot of something. Our neighbor, who is like from Russia or something, gave us marzipanzatolin, which I'm not tempted by. These, on the other hand though, she gave us these. They're from Trader Joe's, I guess. And they're called, here you gotta see, you gotta see this. Finest Nern Burger Sugar Iced Lebkuchen. Yes, I just butchered that. And these little guys have almost like a paper bottom to them. And I really, I've had two of them, despite my desire for weight loss. So those are fun. Laura gets all kinds of stuff. Oftentimes it's just junk that kids, you know, give, have their parents buy them. And sometimes, I'll be honest, sometimes we just throw it away. Sometimes we really like it. What we prefer is cash or gift cards as a teacher. That is what we prefer. Do you notice my slimming figure? Can you see? 17 pounds, baby, 17 pounds. I'm gonna try to lose three more pounds before Christmas in three days. Think that's possible? I don't either, but it would be good.